Hello, this is Val from Aquapo UK and uh, in this short video we are going to actually address one of the most commonly asked questions of the Aquapole system regarding the Aquapole system, its safety, how much output is coming out of it, whether it will quote unquote will fry anyone's brains, is it safe to be used in a home, is it safe around children, is it safe in a living environment. Well, rather than telling you yes or no, let's take a look. What we have here, we have a test rig here. We have a Siglent spectrum analyzer, which measures up to 2.1 gigahertz. And then here we have the Aquapole system. And uh, we are going to actually measure the output and we are going to compare it with common mobile phone, with mobile phone, smartphone these days, which are being used. This is an Android smartphone. This is another smartphone, which is my wife's. And um, let's do some comparative measurements and you can see what is coming out of the system. So first of all, what we have here is we have the spectrum analyzer. This is the noise floor. We have just at the moment nothing is connected to it. I'm, uh, basically, I'm using a small antenna, which looks like this, which is connected to a cable, which looks like this. And that goes, uh, goes into the spectrum analyzer and that's it. So. What we're going to use, I'm just going to use a mobile phone and I'm going to actually dial my voicemail so and do some measurements from there. So here's the voicemail. Okay, so the call is going out to the voicemail. And what we have here, guess what? Here we have a peak. So that's the output of the mobile phone. If we check the peak and check the... the um, Table, it shows that it's 1.92 gigahertz and the output of the signal is about 30, 35, almost 40 decibel, which is, it is what it is. That's the output of the signal. This is what is actually coming out of the mobile phone. If I'm taking the antenna away from the phone, it's like here, it looks like that. And then once I'm actually coming closer to the phone, you can see that that peak increases and comes back again and so on. Now, looking at the power output, I'm going to activate another um, measurement mode. Now, this is called the waterfall diagram, uh, what we are looking here at the bottom of the screen. And this shows the output, graphically the output of the power of the mobile phone in time. So the noise is represented in with blue color and that peak is show, shown let me just con continue is shown uh, the variation of that peak is shown in red and yellow so we can see that something is happening definitely the output of the mobile phone is visible in time and now in comparison to that I'm going to actually remove the antenna and I'm going to actually put it into the aquapole system. And as you can see, with the antenna in the aquapole system, the waterfall diagram indicates virtually no output power in comparison to the mobile phone. And also up here, it's just the noise floor which is visible. Now if I'm taking this out again and go back to the mobile phone, the output res uh, resumes and um, yeah and that's 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 what what it is visible again I'm moving the antenna away from the mobile phone or actually just let's say put it a bit closer to it you can see that some power is still being visible it's not red but it's yellow green the color if I'm moving again very very close to the mobile phone right now which i'm virtually i'm touching the phone i'm showing it like this i'm touching the phone like this you can see it's all red if i'm moving moving this away from the phone then it gets lighter if i'm moving it further away it's lighter if i'm moving it completely away then it finishes back to the mobile phone and we can see the red from the bottom of the screen scrolling up and up and up now I'm really on the phone 
this is the output and the signal form on top of the screen 1.92 gigahertz and I'm going to actually put it back into the aquapole system again so here we go and it's nothing in comparison to the mobile phone it's nothing okay so here's the mobile phone the voicemail is still rolling again and then uh, right here again close to the mobile phone and the output is there again so um, good now if we uh, want to see the whole span um, again span full span we can see this is what is coming out of the mobile phone the peak right here on the right is the mobile phone right there and if I zoom in then that's what we are dealing with let's carry on and um, and then and, and I want it to zoom in in the span zoom in so that's we are back again that's the mobile phone signal zoom out can measure occupied bandwidth peak the spect spectrum analyzer can do all sort of measurements bandwidth measurements and so on anyway just messing with this a bit uh, I'm going to actually switch back to the waterfall diagram which we looked at earlier again we can see that the system is outputting on this frequency the mobile phone I mean you can see that this is the output of the mobile phone with the antenna on the mobile phone and uh, then again when I would move it out of the aquapole system or move it to the aquapole system the voicemail is still going it's nothing Okay, so hope you find this video useful uh, and this should answer the questions about the safety of the system. In comparison to mobile phone, the output is much, much, much less as is shown here on this uh, diagram. Here, I'm again getting closer to the mobile phone. This is the aquapole system, it's all blue. This is the mobile phone, it's all yellow and, and red. And uh, one interesting thing, which I'm just going to show, I'm going to stop the phone. So here is the, the voicemail. This is the output. I'm going to stop it. Now, this stop the phone. You can see that even after the conversation is finished, now is the disconnection. And then it's still communicating with the tower. And now it's finished. So even after the conversation has been finished, the phone was still checking back and forth with the, with the tower. So again, now it's disconnected. The mobile phone is not there. Just for curiosity, again, I'm going to turn it on again. So it's dialing out again. Now it's actually working on a slightly different channel or the frequency is slightly different. I guess depending on how the mobile phone operates and where it can actually find free channel. And it's quite interesting looking at the bottom of the screen here at the waterfall diagram. This was previously here and this is now and you can see that it's just a very very close channel. If you would like to actually to find out the channel I put peak and then it will tell you 1.92 gigahertz and something with about 7 or 8 decimals. Okay, again I'm switching off the mobile phone, now it's off, still communicating with the tower, and now it's finished, and again <laughs> popped up a bit, and now it's finished. Okay, and guess what? He's talking to the tower again, and now it's finished.
and again. So you can see how the spectrum analyzer can pick up all these intermittent little pulses when the mobile phone is active and we can see it here these little lines here when it was after the conversation was finished it was actually talking to the tower anyway this is the output of the mobile phone and again before i finish the video the aqua pole system and there's no change nothing no output or no significant output in comparison to the to the mobile phone hope you found this video useful and answer the questions and put any anyone's um what is at rest in regards to the safety of the system. The aquapose system is safe to use, it doesn't emit any harmful levels of radiations, even in comparison to a mobile phone which is considered safe to use and it has been approved by various government bodies and technical bodies safe to be used. Even in comparison to that, the aquapose system is much, much smaller. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to get in touch.